I was looking at a few of the virtually make a fair talks the other day and couldn't help but notice there was a clear theme of infection control. I guess this was because the make community is living in these. I guess this is because the maker community is living in these unparalleled times. There were projects on making personal protective equipment, masks, face shields, hand wash timers, fever detectors. But there was one quite noticeable gap in addressing the Centers for Disease Control guidance. Hardly any projects to stop you touching your face. Face coverings can help here, but I recall back in April, this story where an astrophysicist stuck magnets up his nose as part of an alarm system to detect when his hand was getting dangerously close to his face. Apart from this failed attempt, there is the MIT Media Lab project Saving Face, which looked into the feasibility of using various sensing methods to detect face touching. They examined ultrasonic earbuds, Bluetooth signal strength, electromagnetic and capacitive fields. Unfortunately, I don't have any of these advanced sensors, and the supply chain for cheap Chinese electronics has been severely disrupted. What can I build using only this stuff in my parts bins? So this is what I came up with. Two cheap HCSR04 ultrasound sensors mounted in a configuration with overlapping fields of view. Whenever an object comes within range, an Arduino Nano makes a piezo transducer beep and illuminates a row of LED warning lights. This works surprisingly well as a wearable. I couldn't sneak my hand past the ultrasound detectors to reach my face, although false triggering was an issue. Building on this unexpected success, I tried to go one step further by adding a small paper towel controlled by a servo motor. The idea is that you soak this paper wipe in sanitizer alcohol or soapy water and it would slide into position at just that moment when you reach to touch your face. Maybe I should crowdfund this as a product. What do you think?